Gold dips below 1200 for the first time this year. Helping us to make sense of it all is II Traders Bill Baruch. Bill, thanks for joining us on this very crazy Friday. Well, thanks for having me today. Bill, what is happening on the gold front this Friday? Two words, king dollar. You know, this is something that uh, we've been talking about here at II Trader really, you know, for all year long, but even, even going further back since, since gold has really started to break down. What, what's coming is the, the FOMC, the U.S. Is, is lifting their foot off of the easing pedal. And, and what you're seeing is, is other central banks like Europe are just beginning and are – more, maybe more than three years behind us. This is this is the dollar moving higher, the highest level since June of 2010. And gold that we're looking at is priced in dollars, and that's going to weigh on the market. And it's really also this better than expected jobs report, uh, Bill. Well, though though we've had some some slow manufacturing and housing data for the last two weeks. Uh, this, this jobs report it really beats expectations. Revisions up from from the last uh, couple months, and that brings me to another point. The the jobs report last month, the market tried to get above the pre. Uh, it was September fifth. The market tried to get above the previous day's highs, and it couldn't even do that upon a just just horrendous jobs report. It just showed that no one believed or really wanted to put put merit into the fact that that job growth was that slow. And, and it, yes, and it was revised higher. We, we came back with a strong number. And the reality is we've been above 200,000 jobs created really over for more than a year now uh, per month. And the, the this is going to weigh on gold. And, and that was the fact that gold couldn't muster up any strength following last last month's job report. And then we find it lower just, just shows that, that the buyers aren't stepping in. They're looking for, for price action below 1200 And, and yes, it, it stuck against 1204 where the market opened uh, this year at, but now we're below 1200 and uh, and we're, we're looking at those previous lows. Downside, potentially, we could see something like 1154 in the short term. So, Bill, you said we could even go down to 1154 So have you readjusted your levels now? Yeah, I mean, I, I think right now we're going to start to see the downside slow in gold. Uh, ahead of ahead of uh, the FOMC meeting October 29th, you know we get through this this piece of information today with with jobs, and then it, then it's what's next, and that's what's next, and that's what really the focus is going to be. There's obviously downward momentum, path of least resistance is lower. You're going to start seeing some buyers step in at, at last at last year's level. Uh, and, you know producers, you know below 1,200, you start getting the buying. But again, this is this is dollar related, right. and and you got to take a look at what may, what moves the dollar, and it's and, 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 you know, if people aren't really you know, buying into the fact that, that the U.S. dollar is this strong, that's perfectly fine. What you have to buy into is the trading partners of the U.S. And, and we look at Europe, you know, and, and they, again, they're just starting an easing program that, that, that puts, it, puts them potentially three years behind us. And on top of that, you know, their, their, their data points have just been just awful. And on top of that as well, the euro, the, the, euro, the average price since inception is 122. We haven't even reached that yet. So there's a lot of potential to see this euro move a couple pennies lower, bring more support to dollar, and thus uh, more pressure on, on gold. Bill, before I let you go, I had one viewer write in asking whether the Diwali festival, which is set to begin in India, could bring in support here for gold. Yes, of course. I think that's that's where some of this the buying is going to step in here. As I said, they're on holiday today, so this, you have this low price action now. I think they're going to come in, you know, see the market against against this, you know, eleven eighty or, or you know, approaching eleven eighty, and and that's going to be uh, yeah, last year's lows. That's going to bring some support. It's going to bring buying, and I think we're going to find the buying coming there between there and eleven fifty four. Uh, you know, you got you got to think about a, a lot of people buying, and there's you know, in in trading as well. There's there's Stops below 1180, and I think Mr. Market has got to find it, find those and search for those stops. So that's why I like 1154. Though I, yes, I, I think Indian you know, India buyers are going to be stepping in, and that's going to help the market consolidate off of these lows ahead of the Fed. And then then again in a couple weeks, it's going to be all eyes on the Fed and Janet Yellen. Bill, thanks for helping us make sense of the move today. Have a great weekend. You're welcome. You too. And thanks for watching Kiko News. We'll have more for you. Email us at newsfeedback at kiko.com. Thanks for watching.